Hey, this is Scott. And I'm Casey. We're with Colmere Realty. Today, we want to talk about what I love about all this video marketing that's happening online. I love it when every real estate uses agent uses terms, no one knows what they mean. Let's talk about them. <laughs> the first one is, we hear it thrown around all the time. Refi, you should just refi that. What in the world is a refi? A refi is when you refinance your current mortgage into a new mortgage, and usually it's when people are taking money out of their property or lowering their interest rate. So they're getting new rates, new terms, terms. taking money out. Great, the second one is APR, or some people say, what's an APR? APR. <laughs> you got this, Scott. Explain away. An APR is a required disclosure, actually, and it stands for annual percentage rates. It's a way of calculating the total cost of financing. It includes all of the associated costs related to an interest rate on a loan. And if that sounds like gibberish, you can just remember that it's the total cost of borrowing money. This one's my favorite because it kind of doesn't make sense even when you say what it means. <laughs> Do you want a CMA? It means comparative market analysis, which also just means, do you want to know what your home is worth? Absolutely. That's a great way to explain <laughs> that one, Casey. Our next one is a rate buy down. When I hear that one thrown around, people are talking about buy this down, <laughs> buy that down. I don't want to buy anything extra that I don't have to when I'm spending all that money on a home. And a rate buy down has been around forever. Essentially, all this means is whether the funds are coming from the buyer or the seller's giving it, pitching in to do this. It is just buying your interest rate down. And there's so many different buy down programs. Reach out if you have any questions on that. Yeah, so basically it's money paid up front to lower an interest rate over time. So next we hear escrow. That's gonna go into escrow. Are we in escrow yet? What in the world is escrow? Escrow is basically a fancy way to say that a buyer and seller have agreed by contract on terms to sell or buy a home and now they're going to go, go through the process of fulfilling those promises they made by contract, getting ready to consummate or close that sale so that the purchase is completed. Another one that gets thrown out a lot, and I don't think a lot of people know what it is, is earnest money. What Ooh. is earnest money? How earnest are you? Well, <laughs> it depends on how much money you want to put down. We hear that all the time. Go ahead. What's earnest money, Casey? I like to say it's good faith money. It's money that essentially you're putting down up front in the deal, showing the seller that you're a serious buyer. Absolutely. Money you're willing to lose if you don't keep your promises per the contract that you signed for the purchase or the sale of a home. And then lastly, closing costs. Scott? Mm, my favorite one. I can't stand it when people throw around the term closing costs. It's so nebulous. There are costs associated to both selling a home and buying a home. And we throw that around. Oh, that's the closing costs. Well, I like to better describe them as seller costs. Traditionally, sellers pay real estate fees and title insurance and any of the property taxes remaining for the year. Traditionally, buyers pay any fees or costs associated with obtaining a loan on the property. So I like to better say seller costs in a transaction and buyer costs in a that transaction. Makes a lot more sense. And I'm gonna do a quick little plug because right now, why the market's a little slower, as a buyer, these costs usually can be paid for by the seller. Thank you for pointing that out. They are negotiable. Hey, that's all for our topic today. If you have questions about this or anything else, please reach out to your Colmere Realty Specialist and remember to like and subscribe.